Welcome to Insight. Today we are chatting with Laura Lies, a trustee of Westmark School and leader of a well-known money management firm serving prominent Hollywood families. Laura has generously agreed to share some of her experience with us. I'd like to thank you, Laura, for joining us today. My pleasure. You have this amazing experience of a child going through a number of different schools and finally at Westmark and now beyond Westmark. Just talk about the trajectory that your child had, has gone through in his educational experience. Westmark has truly changed my child's life. When my son, Robbie, came to Westmark, he had been through another school, he had been bullied, he had been pulled out to work on some of his learning issues. So he had a very low self-esteem and passing with his grades, but the conflict going on inside of him was tremendous. I'm smart, I don't understand why I can't do it, um, why do people pick on me, I feel different. And when we came to Westmark, uh, Westmark is an amazing institution, amazing school to not just teach the academics the way the children here need to learn, the way my son needed to learn, but taught him how to understand who he is, how he needs to learn, and that he is smart and he can do it. My son would not be where he is today if it wasn't for Westmark. In terms of his experience prior to Westmark, um, talk about how the education and student life experience um, progressed because he didn't start off being a bully child with low, low self-esteem, um, but the, the educational experience um, developed that within him. It became a, he became a product of that educational experience. Then he had a different educational experience, a different student life experience, and that completely transformed. So let's talk about the first part of this, because so many parents face exactly that experience. I think part of the problem is not being able to recognize it at an early age. It wasn't until maybe the third grade that my son um, was tested. The principal of the school came to me and said, you know, Robbie is not finishing his tests. He, get, he answers the answers right of the ones he can do, but he's not finishing, and so maybe we should have him tested. And I'm like, well, maybe it's just maturity. Maybe he just needs to mature. There's so much lack of education to the parent. There's so much we don't know. So if she had not pushed me, I would have just said, no, no, he's just, he's only in the third grade. It's just mature. He, he's fine. I also didn't know he, because he was different, that, um, and he felt different. And I guess that's, projected, although I didn't see it, he's my son, I'm prejudiced, um, but other children sense it and feel it. And his sensitivities that he had, they, the children knew they could pick on him. And I didn't know that was going on. He was actually bullied from about kindergarten or first grade. We didn't find out about it until the fifth grade. Mm. So he was bullied for quite some time until he finally shut down. And he probably didn't know that that bullying was not a part of normal life. His take on it was, they don't really mean it. Right. And no, you know, I'm not gonna tell on him, I'm not gonna get in trouble, and so he didn't until he no longer could, could take it. And by the time he had started the fifth grade, and he had, at that point, already started to be pulled out to have special tutoring for math, and that made him feel different. Right. Have, going to a school, then instead of the whole class or being in a class and everyone's being taught the same, mm -hmm. he was being pulled out, and that made him even more different. And the kids would pick on him and say he was stupid. And so by the time he started the fifth grade, he shut down. He stopped walking and, you know, developed what they call complex pain disorder. And it's a neurological condition where he just could no longer cope. We homeschooled him. Mm -hmm. um, we went from doctor to doctor, trying to figure out what was wrong with him. Finally, he got diagnosed with this complex pain disorder um, from trauma, mm -hmm. and he had to go daily to a trauma psychiatrist. 
to bring out, since he had shut down, even he didn't know why he was not walking. And it's a form of post-traumatic stress disorder. Yes, it is. Exactly. So f after four months, it finally came out that he had been bullied and that the stress of, um, you know, that conflict inside mm -hmm. of, I don't get it, I'm smart, but I, you know, don't understand why I can't achieve it and being pulled out of the classroom. So he's being felt, you know, made like he's very different. Right. And plus the bullying on top of that. So it all compounded. And um, that's when we started searching for another school and when we found Westmark. And when you found Westmark, it was a different Westmark than it is today. The school has really undergone some pretty significant uh, transformations. But what was true then and is true now is that the school was really shaped around addressing these language-based learning differences in a way that's, that really integrates um, those ideas, not only into the classroom, but also into the entire school experience. The children are treated as individuals. I think as a community, um, I know I, at, at the previous school, I was felt different as a parent. Even I was treated dif different until I came to Westmark. Even as a parent, I was, um, I felt they, they understood us, they understood our situation, and that I, as a parent, wasn't crazy, um, you know, and, and that made, uh, took a lot of stress away from us as a family between myself and my child, and of course took a lot of stress away from uh, my son. And so the, the whole family is addressed. It's not just the child. And that's really, really important, I think, in these situations. So not only was, was, was Robbie experiencing a, a stress disorder, the, the family was also carrying that as well. Oh, we were under unbelievable stress, you know, battling the homework situation. You know, why are we struggling so much, you know, to, to cope with homework? The other parents saying that we were getting special attention or, you know, even knowing our son was pulled out. Why was our son pulled out? You know, why were we getting special attention? When my son was bullied and I went back to the school to put a new bully program into the school, you know, why, who is she? Right. Why, why, right. why, is, you know, is she getting all this attention as the parent or as the child, you know, getting attention? And, you know, also the parents, not being educated, they didn't recognize what bullying was. You know, the parents would think that it's just, you know, teasing. Kids will be kids. Um, learning differences, you know, weren't accepted. They were almost, you know, swept under the carpet. And so you really felt that the whole family, that we were just, you know, odd family out. So you come to Westmark. And what was the initial year like where, with this move leading up to that? It, it's a big decision to, to move your child to a different school. It, it almost a relief, mm -hmm. you know, that a thousand tons was being taken off my chest. And they just understood. that I, I, I didn't even have to explain as much as I just explained to you. Mm -hmm. They understand. And... He, uh, then when my son came and was taken on a tour, uh, even he, I could tell he was nervous in the beginning, but by the time he was done with the tour, he had a smile on his face and he said, I love the campus. It was, you know, a big campus to him because he was coming from a small campus. Right. Um, and, you know, I could tell, you know, he was still nervous when he first started and they know that, they know the kids mm -hmm. when they first start here, no matter what age they are, that they're very nervous and they're very good the first day really knowing how to um, alleviate their anxieties. They just get it. So he, enter, he enters at seventh grade and he comes in uh, quite nervous. Did you see a, a, a change in the first year? It's amazing how fast you notice a difference. Before we started Westmark, I talked to some other parents who children go to Westmark, and they said, you won't believe it in the first couple weeks or the first month, you're going to notice a change, or you're going to notice it right away, and you're like, yeah, they're just telling us that, you know, 
to make it sound good, sure. It, because you just, at this point, when, when you start Westmark, you are so frustrated. You have been to multiple schools. You're exasperated and exhausted. So you don't have high hopes. You just don't. And in the first week, when my son came home, he was so different. His attitude was different. He had some homework, and it was like, not a problem. And homework had always been a problem. And he just, the, the homework they send home because they, they feel that um, since they get so much one-on-one -on -one here at school that they should, whatever homework they send home, they need to send it where they can be independent mm -hmm. and be able to do the homework on their own. And the first week, he, he, just, he was just more relaxed. We used to have meltdowns almost every night. We had no meltdowns. In fact, months and months went by and there was, you know, and I kept, I would call the school and go, he's there, right? He's showing up, right? <laughs> I mean. He's actually I, doing the work. Is he doing the work and, you know, is this right? Is the homework right? You know, he's not, he's not having his meltdowns and I, it, it, it's a, it was a miracle. It was truly a miracle. So as Robbie starts making academic progress, there's also a, a change in how he experiences student life as well uh, here at Westmark. Yes. I mean, it was normal for my son to have not much of a life outside of school. He'd come home and there was homework, uh, no extra activities, no sports, no art, nothing. As he came home and had more confidence and he would kind of whiz through his homework and all of a sudden he was experiencing A's, you could see like a, almost a physical change over him of, you know, he was standing taller, you know, his chest was up, his head was up. You, you could see that he actually carried himself differently. And one of the things my son can sing and can act. And so we had, he had kind of been in this little theater company and gone to some workshops. But all of a sudden, he wanted to actually audition and try out for some of the shows that they were doing. And now, my son, again, this transformation, you could see, you just physically could see it where he looked better, he stood stronger. And now he's actually auditioning and performing in musicals hmm. that run for four weeks at a time in, you know, holding, you know, maybe 100 people in the theater or whatever up on stage. And that truly is an amazing accomplishment for my son to go from, in fact, before Westmark, when they would have school performances, you, you couldn't even see my son. He would be in the back row behind people, you know, if the kids, the small kids were up on stage performing. You couldn't see him. I remember one time, and it was like the second or third grade, he actually stood behind a pole and didn't want to be seen at all. Right. Interested in the theater, interested in performance, but being literally um, told at every turn you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, until his passion might bring him to the stage, but he stands in back of a pole. And then seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, gradu he graduates from Westmark, and now oh, no, he goes, he goes to middle school, middle school at, to, to at Westmark. Westmark. Okay, and he then he's one, he's about to go into high school, and he comes home, and now he has performed in musical theater and has had leading roles mm -hmm. and. He's um, even performed at Westmark and, you know, I had, um, was the understudy for Pippin and when they did their production of Pippin here. Um, and he came to me and said, I want to go to LOXA, that's Los Angeles County High School of the Arts. This is the number two performing arts high school in the nation. You have to audition to get in. There's 1,300 auditioning and they're going to take 40 kids in the theater department. So he is the one who is, who is now saying, Mom, I want to go for this. And you know what? He came to me 
and he said, Mother, he's always called me Mother, he <laughs> came to me and he said, Mother, he said, for the last few years, I received the tools that I needed from Westmark to be able to do this. And of course, even now, I'm tearing up thinking of when he said that to me. And I thought, you know, wh what do you say with that? I mean, the fact that he could turn to me mm. and say, you know, I received the tools that I needed, you know, to do this. And he got in. I'm ready. I'm ready. And he's in? And he's in. And, and he now he has a, performed in front of hundreds, you know, 500. He's a theater the major with scripts, with deadlines, with an academic load as well. A straight A student. Straight A student. And he advocates for himself. He goes in there and he'll tell the teacher if he needs more time, you know, on a test or he needs more time, you know, for homework. But he does it. He's excelling. And he has even said that he would come back and speak at Westmark to tell the kids at Westmark what Westmark did for him because he feels he would not be where he is today if he had not gone to Westmark. Now this has prompted you to also serve on the on the board. So you're, you're a businesswoman. Uh, you manage money for uh, many people, uh, many of whom we all know. Um, you know what it's like to, um, to work in a business environment. Westmark is also a business environment with a social mission, with a mission for, that advances individuals. Talk about your role on the board and, and how the board has helped to transform Westmark over the years uh, of your association with the school. We have come up with ways to expand and to get out there more, whether we're helping other institutions or, you know, our mission is out there, um, um, hopefully growing and taking more children um, so that we can help. And um, that's why I, I chose to stay on the board. It, it's a business and, um, and it's a difficult business because the, it costs a lot of money to have these specialized teachers in this specialized environment. But the um, profit or the reward is looking at a child and seeing how they come out and they, they're all going to college. I mean, I think our percentage is something like 98% go on you know, to college and it's just fantastic. And so it, the challenge is how do, we, how do we get to more? How do we help more children? And that's why I'm there to help strategize and see how we can expand. Talk a little bit about the, um, the transformations that you've experienced. Um, the school was quite a bit smaller uh, than when you first came than it is today. Boy, I think it's increased by, you know, at least probably 20, 25% since um, I've been on the board. Um, we have physically the uh, school has done a transformation to be able to accommodate uh, more children. Our technology has been expanded. You know, all the children have iPads. We have incredible um, software programs and that, you know, are made specially, you know, for the children here. Um, I think the biggest expansion has been, beside from the physical part, uh, being able to accommodate is I think our technology and our, the, um, has, has really expanded uh, to really help the kids. You know, we have all smart boards and, you know, all the latest of everything where, especially for the children here at Westmark, really need they really, you know, the, the technology really helps them and assists them in uh, learning. So um, the physical plant has expanded. Um, your technology has evolved. The teaching pedagogies have also uh, continued to evolve. Uh, do you feel that the, that the stu school has been able to maintain its high quality as it has expanded so significantly over the last years? Even though the community is larger, uh, they've been able to not just maintain the quality, I think they've improved the quality. I love that Westmark is willing 
to be on the cutting edge and to change. You know, people don't like change. And I love that Westmark wants to change and continue to develop and expand in all areas. Continuous improvement, uh, perhaps inspired by the students and the parents who attend Westmark. And I think inspired by the alumni, you know, that comes back and has their success stories um, is, is just really, really rewarding. Well, Laura Liza, thank you so much for sharing your story and thank you for your insights. Thank you.